All right, my friends, now we are going to be learning some basic operations on arrays which you must and should know. Okay, for example, assume I've given you an array like this. Now I'll ask you to check and tell me if in case the given array is sorted or not. The question is for you to return true or false, sorted or not. One look at this, you can tell me, yes, it is sorted. But you can't see, computer has to tell you. So how would you do it? Very simple. Listen to me. What I would propose is, you set i from the second element, okay? Run a loop from the second element in the last element. And then what you have to do is very simple. See, for i, starting from 1 to the length of my array r. What I would do is, if truly, if truly this array was sorted, then the ith element should be greater than the previous element, i minus 1 element. If the ith element is lesser than the i minus 1 element, there only the condition of sorting fails. See, lesser, lesser, it, I'm sorry, I mean greater, 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 greater. So the ith element, if it is sorted, will be greater. If it is lesser, it means that 100% the array is not sorted. So very simple, let's check. If in case, the ith element ar of i is lesser than the i minus 1 element just return false because you know that it is not sorted but if this condition doesn't satisfy even once for example see i i minus 1 i will move forward i i minus 1 no it is not lesser i will move forward is it lesser no i will move forward is it lesser no i will move forward is it lesser? No, I will move forward. Is it lesser? No, I will move forward. I've gone out of the loop. If I go out of the loop, it means that it is perfectly sorted, which means return true. That's it. Simple way of doing it. I hope you're able to think. Let's quickly write some code and check. So the code is pretty simple. This is my array. I'm calling a function called as is sorted, passing my array. Is sorted will return a boolean value. True or false if this array is sorted or not. So I'll come inside that. And uh, simple, I'll just tell for uh, i beginning from 1. i less than equal to a, a less than ar dot length. i plus plus. I'll come inside that and I will just check if in case ar of i. Is it less than ar of i plus 1? i minus 1. If this condition satisfies, then the next element is smaller than the previous element means 100% it has not been sorted in the ascending order. I hope you're able to think. So I'll just return false. If I come out of this loop, it means this condition never satisfied. So I'll return true, which means every element is in the right way. That's it. Now this is clearly sorted. So if I just execute it, I will be getting true. If I go make that a 66 instead of 6, then if in case I execute it, clearly I will get it as false. So it works. Let's go and explore many more such operations.